a feature tram this afternoon. What's your take on that? Um, we're unfortunate. I thought it was really good away performance up until we give we made the mistake in, and they laid them back into it. Um, I think we should do better on the second goal as well, but then <laughs> the two decisions that went against the second half were were appalling. Um, Tyrese is a yard and a half on side, and it's a blatant penalty. But um, when it, when you're down, those those things don't don't go for you. So um, look, we should still do better for their two goals, but those those two decisions were criminal. It's obviously a mixed bag on the injury front at the minute. Dokes and Mahoney coming off injured. What's the latest on them? Um, Dokes is he, he's got some sort of food poisoning or a virus. He's been violently sick, um, which. Left us with five centre backs out today. We've had to have a make makeshift, uh, makeshift defence. Um, we needed to go to to get the wing backs on because it didn't really work last week. We weren't threatening at all. So that was what we tried to do it the best we could in in a three. But you know, like I said, we're getting punished for everything, and now it looks like Murphy's injured. As you say, it just sort of seems to be a little bit of you know bad luck and a bit of where we are at the minute. Yeah, that's that's it. And look, all we can do we're we're doing what we can. With, with the players we got available. And I think you've seen today that they give everything today. They didn't stop, um, ultimately, and come up a bit short. But they were a, they were a group who, who were working hard for each other and sticking together. Particularly with some of them playing in unfamiliar positions today as well. I think, you know, even though the result was disappointing, credit to them today. Yeah, and look, you take the, you take the mistake out, out of it. Um, I thought Seder was excellent there. Um, you know, he, he, he was... Competing for aerial duels, which you know is not really his game. He was reading a play, um, so yeah, it's um, it's a tough one to take. Jake Kane, of course, did return to max action, so another positive there. Yeah, it's positive, and obviously we've we've got um, Tom Clayton and Tom Bruett extremely close, so um, Doak should be back for Boxing Day as well. So I'm, I'm hoping we're starting to get over the the other side of um, the the awful. Bad luck we've had with injuries. First half, as you mentioned, we did hold that lead. In the second half, you know, it just seemed to, you know, seemed to take away from us. What, what do you put that down to in that second half? Look, it's there's no denying it. I'm not blaming any one person, but, but they're, they're mistakes we make, and we get punished for it. Um, it's as simple as that. It's um, an area that we we need to be better in, and that's not just today. That's been from the start of the season. As you mentioned, late chances, obviously handball claims, goal disallowed, so perhaps not unlucky not to come away with anything today. Very extremely unlucky not to come away from it, uh, with any without anything. So um, yeah, it's a uh, tough day. Quick turnaround now. Wrexham back at home as we look for immediate response. Yep, that's this exactly what we was going to be a packed house. Um, you know the fans will be behind us uh, like they were today as well. So um, hopefully we can put a cheer on their face for Boxing Day because obviously we've missed out a chance to do it for Christmas Day. <laughs>